in paragraphs 52 to 64, we see a number of exclusions from CDT. Please make sure that you also consult your SACA ITC general pronouncements. These exclusions either mean that an item or a disposal of an asset is 100% excluded from capital gains tax or that part of it is excluded, which we'll see in something like paragraph 57. Here's a list of the exclusions, guys. Please do work for them. They are quite simple. For example, personal use assets. We've already seen no CDT. Return benefits. So if you have, if you are, have the right to earn uh, own uh, a monthly installment, for example, or the right to to earn or receive a lump sum from retirement, and you exchange that for something else, that is a disposal of the right to receive an amount. So that's a disposal of an asset. And, but that will be excluded from CGT. Certain ex, uh, losses that you make to connected persons, which we'll see also later. Disposal of small business assets. 1.8 million rand of that is excluded. Please look at the paragraph for the rest of it. Gambling. If you gamble within the laws of South Africa by natural persons, so if you win the lotto in South Africa, it's legal in South Africa, therefore it's excluded from CGT. But if you win the UK lottery, for example, there will be CDT on that. What's the CDT on? Proceeds and base costs. Base costs will be the cost of your ticket. Proceeds will be the amount that you receive for disposing of your ticket. Right, so that's quite a big base cost. Donations to public benefit organizations, guys. Those are also one. And then compensation for personal injury, illness, or defamation. So you, your ex-employer tells you if you stole at work and it wasn't the case, you take him to court and... You win the case for defamation, he has to compensate you. There's no CUT on that.